fracture I'm going to integrate to x sin 2x cos 3x dx so let's see the answer so first here writing the given so here x sin 2x and cos 3x or this we can write here 1 by 2 multiplying then integration symbol here x to cos 3x into sin 2x so first to solving this part so here this is now 2 cos a into cos b 2 cos a into sin b formula is on the basis so writing the formula 2 cos a into sin b that is here sin a plus b and thereafter minus sin a minus b so sin a plus b that means so uh, here or uh, this we can write uh, 1 by 2 here x sin a plus b so sin 3x plus 2x that is here sin 5x and then after sin a minus b then or sin 3x minus 2x that is sin x after that here or uh, let's uh, multiply with the x so 1 by 2 and uh, here this is now x sin 5x minus here integration symbol so this is now dx then after here x sin x dx integration symbol this is now there after this here we need to follow the i let rule so what exactly i let rule first is algebraic next is trigonometry is there so for this we need to use here integration by part so writing go uh, integration by part formulas so suppose this is here u this is here v so now writing u v dx so writing u doing the integration of v dx then after integration symbol here du by dx so next is differentiation of u and uh, thereafter one more integration and uh, here v dx and for the next here for all integration so let's uh, put on the basis of this so 1 by 2 is there now a uh, u and v that i assume thereafter dx so write u so write here x do the integration of v sin 5x dx then after minus here doing the integration of u sorry differentiation of u so dx divided by dx and integration of v so v is sin 5x okay after that uh, let's use the bracket and uh, here one more thing dx and here dx so this is the first part next is negative this part that we need to put u and v assume that then write the here x write the here u x then after do the difference integration of uh, uh, sin 5x sorry sin x here dx the next is minus so doing the differentiation of u that come 1 ok 1 the next is here integration of v dx so sin x dx and the whole dx so let's uh, solve this one so 1 by 2 here x sin 5x so integration so here this come minus cos 5x divide by 5 and uh, minus and here this come 1 
and uh, here 1 the next is sin 5x or uh, uh, integration that is minus cos 5x by 5 and here dx the next is x sine differentiation that is minus cos x and uh, the next is so here let's use curly bracket so sine minus cos and uh, minus here so 1 and uh, sine x differentiation minus cos x and this here dx after that the next is 1 by 2 this here minus x cos 5x by 5 minus minus plus and here cos 5x by 5 not uh, exactly here we need to so this minus minus that changes to plus and cos 5x integration that is sin 5x and 5 into 5 after that uh, the next is this minus and here let's write minus curly bracket so this is now minus x cos x and uh, here this minus minus multiply then cos x integration that is sin x and plus c after that we need to multiply this minus so 1 by 2 this here so this here we can write minus x cos 5x divide by 5 sin 5x by 25 minus minus multiply so this is plus x cos x and here this multiply sin x and here plus c so this is here this is the answer of this question so 1 by 2 minus x cos 5x by 5 sin 5x by 25 plus x cos x minus sin x. So this is the way we can do the integration of this question. So one time I am going to repeat. So first we need to uh, solve this one. So 2 cos a into sin b that is sin a plus b sin a minus b. Then you can get this term. So here we need to use the eyelet rule. So what exactly eyelet rule? So this is here yeah, algebraic then trigonometry so that we need to use integration by part. So this is here integration by part. Put that and do the calculation then you can get this one. So this is the way we can do the integration. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.